the scale of uh, nano. So for uh, so that the advantage of that for medicinal purposes is that uh, the, the particles are so small and they can degrade without causing much of toxicity that you're mentioning. Um, so, and it's also being uh, used for uh, devising cancer treatments and other uh, biosciences by the other scientists. So it's quite a diverse field that we that we explore in the biosciences. That how can we use the the, the nano uh, um, the nano chemicals to actually improve uh, the medical part of the sciences in our society. Being a woman, and not only that, a woman of color, how easy was it so difficult to get into this industry? Um, it's 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 still difficult. It was quite difficult because, um, you know, p particularly like you mentioned, that as a woman of color, you are not seen as somebody who can actually uh, produce knowledge from that uh, from that uh, background. You are seen as a as a woman who cannot be in that field to actually change it or to actually cater for what we need in the continent. So um, it's very important for women of color and all the women actually to be uh, involved in the. Uh, uh, the nanobiosciences but most importantly we need uh, the, the transition where uh, whereby uh, it's not only male dominated it's also uh, 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 it's, it's, it's gender equal because um, when you check the statistics even uh, in, ma in many research institutions and in many universities um, there are very few women um, of color and even white women who are actually leading uh, research scientists um, uh, L'Oreal is doing quite well actually by recognizing women in sciences. It's helping to promote the women in the sciences so that they can also be producing that kind of science that is needed not only in the continent but it can also be recognized globally. And I like what you're talking about, the production of, no, of, of knowledge, of information, because it goes beyond the lab, does it not? It's not just about mixing chemicals, so perhaps you can see whether or not there's an explosion or an experiment. It's also to meet the needs that we have on the continent and abroad, like you said, dealing with socio-economic problems. Yes, 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 yes indeed. You know, um, uh, in the sciences as well, the natural sciences or the life sciences, it's important that uh, whatever kind of science that we do, we do not only um, do it from the perspective of the Europeans or the Americans, it's important that we recognize our immediate needs as um, South Africans, as Africans, that um, the science that we will be conducting or producing actually serves us. It does not only, uh, it's not only about mimicking, it's not only about cloning, but to actually um, address what we need. I mean, uh, I could look into the agriculture. Um, now we're talking uh, what the, the biomasses people are doing the biomasses for using the biofuels and so on but at the same time we need to get engaged into the discussion that do we really have to use the the the, the, the crops to produce fuel mm -hmm. can we not go the green route whereby people drive less and then we don't need fuel per se do we can we can we can we afford to compromise um that that, that kid who is hungry out there just for the sake of producing fuel. So Some those are tough discussions, exactly. yeah, so that we'll be are, having. Yeah, th Those are the kinds of discussions we need to have because yeah. um, we, by now we probably know that Africa is still suffering in terms of um, feeding its own people. Mm -hmm. there, there's still high poverty and if you check the theme of our gender summit as well, it's on uh, poverty alleviation. alleviation. It's, through sciences. it's through sciences. So a very, very important correlation there. Natural sciences or physical sciences merging with social sciences to find solutions to the continent's problems. Riveting discussion. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Palisa Sehejani, to just giving us an update of what we can expect today. More in just a moment.